Craig, defeating the FA Trophy today against Mikulova, um, a really bad day at the office, wasn't it? Yeah, I think bad day at the office. Uh, well and truly better by a better side. You know, you've got old Jans up sometimes. Uh, they're probably one of the best sides we've played in the last two years. There's no doubt about that. We've played Comfort and Offsides this year and there. There's no wonder the, the where they are in the league and, and, and what they're doing. Uh, so, yeah, you've got old Jans up sometimes and say, you know, you're better by a better side. Uh, I didn't like the conduct of our side the last 20 minutes, if I'm, if I'm honest. I thought we, you know, when it went to three, we gave up. That's not us. Um, you know, regardless of, you know, who you're up against. But, you know, like I said, bad day at the office and we got to dust ourselves down now and go Tuesday. What do you think constituted to, because it, was, it wasn't, like you said, the, the last bit where it ran away from us a little bit, but throughout the game it just didn't seem to be a recognisable Craig Parry side? No, I, just, I, I don't think we did ourselves justice at all. I don't think we gave the best account of ourselves today. There's no doubt in that. But I think once they got the first goal and got a foothold in the game, uh, the controlled possession, the movement were very good. And we struggled with it. We, we struggled. We, we changed the shape three times in the game to try and combat it, and we, it still didn't help. That said, the players have got to you know, uh, apply themselves a little bit better. But, you know, sometimes, like I said, you know, it's... Uh, on the manager's side, we, we, we take the pats on the back when things go well, and you know you got you got you got to look at the other side. So you know I, I shield these guys in there. I know they're good players. I know they they mean well. Bad day at the office. So I take the blame and move on to Tuesday. Uh, you mentioned a couple of the, the shape changes there. How do you think? Uh, what were your thoughts process behind them in trying to what you wanted to deliver? Uh, I said at half time really I'm going to change it and, and try and go man for man at, at, at the back. Uh, if it didn't work, then you know again I take the blame. Let the players try and do that, and and, and it didn't work. Uh, but you know we gave away some sloppy goals, some really uncharacteristic in in, in goals that we don't really uh, concede. Uh, but we tried. To, we we had to change something. We had to change the shape because we had full control of the game. You know there were certain points in the game, especially in the first half, that you know we couldn't get couldn't get the ball off them, couldn't get near them, or even lay a glove on them. So we had to do something to try and put pressure on them. Unfortunately, it didn't work, but uh, you know you live and learn, and, and I think that's probably a good thing today. Actually, you, you know, some things like these, these things are, are, are uh, in, the, in the moment of madness is kind of, kind of quite good. Kind of sometimes bring everyone back down to earth a little bit and realign us to go again. I suppose it being in the trophy as well, no points lost as, uh, on that front. Um, it was our first defeat as well at home since the 20th of, of December that that loss against Hemsworth in the Senior Cup. Um, just how Unusual has it been today, sort of not seeing a side dominate like we normally do, and how good is it that we've been able to stretch it out like that, where previously we've never really gone on a run like that at home? No, obviously, you know, we've had an unbelievable home record, and, you know, if we were, if we were going to lose an home record, it'd be, you know, to a performance like the opposition gave us today, uh, rather than, you know, something that's, you know, a lot worse, but... I, I, I think you know, no matter what, you know, in the league we made this a fortress this year, and if we can carry on with the performances that we've done previously this at home, you know, make it carry on making it a fortress, we'll be fine. Like I said, it, today bad day at the office it is what it is. You know, we move on and uh, you know, fully focused now. We've got clear as heads. Uh, the good old 24-hour rule, as I keep saying, you know, you dust your head down, you clear your heads, and, and we, you know, get a positive mindset on to, on the Tuesday. Uh, Regan came back in for the first time after injury that he picked up against Hyde in August. Uh, how good was it to, to have him back at his selection, albeit forced in the end? Yeah, I think forced selection. Well, disappointed to lose Alex because Alex has been playing extremely well for us to lose him in the warm up. But obviously, with a week, you know that we're going to go into. We thought that we'd try to try and be cautious with him, protect him. Uh, you know, we, we asked Regan to play in a, a, a completely different position today I thought, he did, I thought he did well you know in, in the circumstances and uh, you know I think the main thing for, for Regan and Colin today that, that's, that's being in the side is, is, is to catch minutes underneath the belt you know it's going to help them in the long run um, obviously they're being on the wrong end of the result but actually for them personally it's been you know good work out for them and, and minutes into, into the bodies that will help them you know like I said in the further in the season. Obviously, the only way to turn about, uh, get over that 24-hour rule straight into Tuesday night, Geisley. How important is it for for the lads in there to to put out a performance on Tuesday? Oh, you you, you know the group they've had so far. You know they, they they'll be bang on it Tuesday. Don't don't fret on about that, and you know we'll bang at it and and back on it. You get days like this in football. Sometimes you've just got to 
you know, walk away and hold your hands up and do yourselves down. Today's one of those days. Uh, but I guarantee you the boys will be back raving to go Tuesday and, you know, putting on a positive performance and, you know, and, 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 a, and a big chance for us to get three points on the board and, and kind of cement ourselves in, into that top five, really. Obviously, it's a strange one going into Tuesday with them having a change of manager, uh, Andy Walsh, going in now from uh, who were at Berry. Um, what are you expecting from them? Obviously, I imagine since the manage, uh, management's changed there, the sort of watching of them might have changed as well. Yeah, fresh manager. Obviously, when a fresh manager goes in, everyone gets you know a little bit of a lift. Little, uh, but I think they've been you know a little bit of a good run before you know change of manager anyway in, in the caretaker side of things so you know yeah it's uh, we expect them to be full at it you know obviously everyone will be trying to impress to cement the places you know in the side with a new manager there and trying to impress him but i think we've just got to try and focus on us tuesday if we focus on us tuesday that's the main thing you know making sure that we're right and uh, we put out the right side out there and play the right way that we normally do